Welcome to the Impact Lounge, the place to be for Impact Wrestling fans. I'm Sal Interdonato, and it's an honor to be sitting in for BQ for this Impact Sacrifice Review. BQ's uh, awaiting some computer repairs, so we're going to step up and uh, give you our take on Sacrifice. Sacrifice was two weeks um, after No Surrender. No Surrender was a pretty uh, solid card, and you're wondering how Impact Wrestling would follow up. Um, no surrender in a short amount of time, setting up a cu- the matches. And um, when it was all said and done, you got a pretty solid uh, pay-per-view or an Impact Plus special. Um, the pre-show matches were solid. You had like three really, in my opinion, three really standout matches. So we'll go through uh, the matches in order, give you my take on the matches, and um, we'll start with the pre-show. You had Giselle Shaw versus uh, Lady Frost and, Lady Frost was looking to get revenge after just Gis- Giselle Shaw had beaten her uh, before on uh, Impact in, in, in Shaw's debut, I believe. Um, and this was a good match. I mean, Lady Frost is – man, you look at Lady Frost, she has it. She has every, it. She has what you need to climb uh, to the top – to be a knockout champion, basically. Um, and this was a way for her to get it even. Um There's nobody like Lady Frost on the roster, on the Knockouts roster, what she can do um, just aerial-wise. And she finished Giselle Shaw off with a frostbite uh, for the win. Um, I'm not sure if this feud's going to continue. They're going to end up tagging, or we'll talk about that a little later. Um, This Rich Swan, Willie Mack versus um, OGK, Matt Taven and Mike Bennett was a really good match. Should have been on the main card, in my opinion. Um, just real solid um, wrestling. And you look at Rich Swan and Willie Mack. Um, I've tweeted a couple times at Wrestling Rap. Um, Willie Mack and Rich Swan should have been tag team champions months ago. Should have took the belts off the Good Brothers months ago. I get it. You have the storytelling with the Bullet Club, which we had. And... Um, We'll get into uh, the tag team championship match in a little bit, but this is a Rich Swan and Willie Mack honestly needed this win. Uh, all four of these guys can go in the ring, and you look at the way uh, Swan and Mack, their combo moves are really good. Um, of course, you got the the proton pack from Taven and and Bennett too. This was a great match, um, and again, this should have been on the main card in my opinion. Uh, we'll talk about maybe why it wasn't later on, um, but a, a good win for uh, Rich Swan and Willie Mack. I think that this is going to lead to um, probably an opportunity for the tag team championships uh, sooner than later for both of those guys. It was an honor no more versus uh, team impact match. And um, it was one of two on the card and the way they placed it, you know, like I said, I, I thought that, this belonged on the main card. Uh, all four of these guys definitely can go, and we'll see where where does this put um, Honor No More now with Taven and Bennett. We'll talk about that um, in a few. Uh, we'll get to the main card now. In the first match, you know, Impact, for the most part, will open up with an X Division match uh, nine times out of ten for a pay-per-view or an Impact Plus special. And uh, Trey Miguel and uh, – Jake something didn't disappoint his power against speed. Um, you know, Trey Miguel wins with me with his second meteor on Jake something. And, you know, before the match impact wrestling had you thinking, Hey, maybe Jake something they did the, um, the vignette on uh, the highlight package on uh, Jake something uh, on the Thursday before sacrifice. And he thought, wait, they're going to put the belt on Jake. And, um, you know, there's been rumors about when Jake's contract runs out. And, um, you know, right now, that this is going to be Jake's last match in Impact for now. Um, his his contract has expired, and he's now a free agent. I can't believe that Impact Wrestling wouldn't um, get a deal with Jake something done. He's different. He brings something different to the X Division. He brings something a little different to their roster. Yeah, they have a lot of horses on their roster, but... They don't have anybody with um, Jake something's athleticism other than really Jonah right now. And um, so uh, Trey Miguel defends the title 
Uh, where is this going to lead? Um, Trey Miguel, you know, there's, there's, of course, you got um, Ace Austin out there and uh, Mike Bailey. I think maybe um, who weren't on the card. Ace Austin, Mike Bailey were not on this card. Speedball Mike Bailey were not on this card. So um, maybe we'll see Trey Miguel start something, a feud or matches with those two guys. Um, just um, Jake, something for now is um, done with Impact. And, man, um, if you tell me I, – I picked Trey Miguel for this match. I thought Trey Miguel would win because of um, – we didn't really know what Jake something's contract status was and impact wrestling builds up Jake something to lose in the X division title match. And then uh, out the, out, out the door goes uh, Jake something um, next match was Eddie Edwards versus Rhino. And this is a match that I really question. Why was this match even happening? If anything, Eddie Edwards probably should have been wrestling maybe Chris Saban on this card, but it was Rhino and, um, Eddie Edwards gets the win, but, um, you know, you had some Steve, Ma Steve Macklin come out and Steve Macklin uh, came out and basically took out Eddie and Kane Rhino and said, he's basically, he's, he's, he's a man, he's a team of one. And, um, Steve Macklin's character has been really development has really been awesome in impact. And, you know, you thought he would be the guy, he would be the savior for team impact against honor no more. And now, um, you know, at the next Impact Plus uh, special, he um, it's gonna he's gonna ride solo. He's gonna be a lone wolf, and um, I, I think that Steve Macklin by the end of the year should be in the title world championship picture. Where does he go now? Um, I guess it's gonna start some matches with both Team Impact and Honor No More. I mean, that Eddie Edwards um, Steve Macklin match on last week's Impact was phenomenal until the DQ. Um, I want to see it again. You know that that was um, something with something with maybe um, a no DQ match with Steve Macklin and Eddie Edwards would be something maybe possibly you get that rebellion. There's a lot of time before then, but um, yeah, some interference by Steve Macklin. Get uh, Eddie Edwards gets the win. Steve Macklin kind of stands alone. Um, next match for the Impact. I'm sorry for the knockouts tag team championship. Uh, <laughs> man, if you were to tell me that the influence would be tag team champions, I, I would be shocked because I thought um, the inspiration was going to have a nice run with the belts since they came in. Um, you know, first match, they won the belts and it just Caleb with a K storyline. And I thought that definitely Caleb with a K would um, do something, um, uh, to uh, give the inspiration to win over the influence. That was the opposite. Um, Caleb threw the belt into uh, for the uh, somebody to use and to Neil Dashwood um, used it on uh, Cassie Lee and the, ins the influence are your new uh, impact tag team, a uh, knockouts tag team champions. Um, where does this go? This is going to go to the rebellion. It's already been dragged out because this match was supposed to happen. What months ago, for the belts and um, the four participants couldn't be uh, at the same site at once due to who knows if it was COVID or something else. And um, so now just um, it's not got tag team division. Really? You have the inspiration, you have influence tag team champions and you have the K right now. So they have to really, there's gotta be some new teams coming out of here and um I, I, I don't know where they go, really. If it's Lady Frost and G Giselle Shaw, you got to build them up a little bit. So I think we're going to get more uh, vignettes and backstage segments with the inspiration and the influence. This is not over. Um, with the Unfortunately, this is not over with the influence and the inspiration uh, that will continue. Um, there's a backstage se segment with Anthony Corelli pumping up Heath before his title match world title match with Moose. Anthony Corelli is um, with Santino Morella elsewhere. Um, then you also get, I guess, Brian Myers was out for some alternate uh, commentary and uh, out comes Morrissey looking to power bomb him or inflict some damage. Myers escapes the beat, uh, the power bomb by Morrissey. 
a security guard through the table instead. I, I don't know. I, I thought Morrissey, um, you know, main event caliber guy now at Impact, and uh, Brian Myers. He's done some great work at Impact since he's joined. Um, we'll see where this storyline goes. They're going to have to get in the ring probably, and uh, maybe uh, Myers will uh, – have a new learning tree. We'll see what happens with that. Um, man, this Jonah PCO match. One of one of the, one of the favorites of the night there, where you have two guys um, that can go like Jonah and PCO, and there's some crazy stuff going on here. Um, you know, PCO, just the damage that is inflicted on PCO is incredible, and Jonah, ah uh, man, the pile driver on the steel steps. The power bomb to the floor, then the tsunami um, for the win. And when uh, Jonah hits the tsunami, he doesn't land on uh, PCO's chest. He lands on PCO's head and gets the pin. And PCO didn't want any uh, medical attention after that. He gets up and walks out. Um, I know that they wrestled on the indies recently, Jonah and PCO, but there's a good chemistry between these guys. And a great story. They told a great story. Man, Jonah Jonah has been nothing but great since he's come to Impact. Um, they say his contract's going to be up at Rebellion. Maybe he uh, likes what he's seen in a stay at Impact. And hopefully, maybe we get eventually, I think we're eventually going to get Moose Jonah. I just don't know if it's going to be for the Impact Wrestling Championship. It would be a shame if it wasn't because um, no doubt. Jonah is a formidable opponent for the title. And this match was just crazy. One of my favorites. Um, my favorites of the weekend, to be honest with you. Not better than the next match, but Jay White and Alex Shelley. Um, I guess you could say student versus pupil. Um, Jay White told a story in an interview before um, Sacrifice that basically um, he was – Alex Shelley, young boy. He lived with Alex Shelley for um, like a year and a half when he was on excursion uh, uh, for wrestling with Ring of Honor. And man, this match is great. I mean, Jay White is, for my money, I'm going to just say it, the best wrestler right now. Storytelling, promos, in the ring, he has it all. And, um, I'm glad he's a being able to showcase it. He's had a great match against Eric Young at No Surrender. The best match of the night uh, at Sacrifice with Alex Shelley. And um, we'll see We'll see where this leads for uh, Jay White and the Bullet Club. Uh, especially we're going to talk about the Tag Team Championship match in a second. But um, for Alex Shelley, it's good to see him back in Impact. And there's probably a going to be a reunion with him and Chris Saban, you think Motor City Machine Guns. And uh, that's going to be fun. I mean, that's that, we'll talk about what happens with the uh that a little bit uh in a little bit. But uh this match was great. I mean, great chemistry. Uh Alex Shelley blade you know the blade runner attempts by White Alex Shelley countering and then Blade Runner uh for the win for Jay White. Just a great match and um Hope Alex Shelley is um, going to be at Impact just for more than these uh, the tapings in Louisville. Hopefully, we'll see him at the Philadelphia tapings uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, next coming up was, you know, the Champ Champ Challenge with Deanna Perrazzo. And, you know, at first you're thinking, who could it be? Could it be Athena? It's not going to be Taya because they're going to um, wrestle for the AAA, Rena Dorena's uh, championship down the road. It wasn't going to be tonight for Taya. And um, it was going to be Tony Storm, Tegan Knox, or maybe, who knows, another ROH talent, not Angelina Love. Um, and it was Chelsea Green. And Chelsea Green, you know, these got uh, – Deanna and Chelsea, you know, out of wrestling are really good friends. And um, this was nothing but – this wasn't a, a very friendly uh, matchup. Uh, it, it was a back and forth a little bit. It was uh, some counter – you know, Deanna tr once uh, Kelsey Green uh, quote injured her wrist. Um, Deanna Perrazzo attacked the injury, and um, but there was that there was a time where 
Chelsea Green trying to apply the uh, Fujiwara on bar on um, Diana. Um, Diana wins. Diana um, can, have a great ma- can have a really good to great match with a broomstick. She is just incredible in the ring. Storytelling is excellent. And this win for Diana, you know, there's people were saying, people were trying to predict is Diana going to drop the belt um, on this show because of the Tony Khan buying Ring of Honor? Um, yeah, I'm glad that didn't happen. I think it would be awesome if Ring of Honor is going to um, uh, produce shows. I think it would be awesome for Diana Peraza to appear on that show with the ring of honor championship and uh, defending it a couple times. I don't, I wouldn't want to take the belt off Deanna right now. If I was, I, I hope that impact and AEW can come to some sort of a agreement that Deanna stays uh, the RH champion for a while. And maybe um, is on both impact, uh, whatever the ROH show is for AEW and um, maybe have some interaction with Bert, Bert Baker and see where that leads to. Hopefully a match down the road. It's got to happen between Deanna and Britt Baker sooner, hopefully sooner than later. Uh, so this leads to, you know, Deanna um, after uh, Chelsea uh, taps, Deanna uh, keeping the uh, arm bar on and that Mickey James comes to the ring um, trying, you know, to uh, help out her friend, uh, Chel Chel, Chelsea Green. And um, then out pops Tasha Steele, and it's on. The Knockouts Championship match is on. And Tasha Steele uh, just gets after it, you know, from the start. And, yeah, there were some exchanges with Mickey where Mickey got the better of Tasha. Of course, that's going to be part of the part of the match. But Tasha Steele is your new Knockouts Champion. And when Tasha Steele first started in Impact, uh, I believe it was around the pandemic, and on that night, I believe she appeared on NWA's um, Power on the same night of her Impact debut. And when I saw her on NWA, and then I saw her a match, I can't remember who she faced in her debut for Impact. Um, I'm like, Tasha Stills can go. And then you see her character development with Fire and Flavor. And then you see Kara Hogan leaving and her kind of coming into her own not only in the ring, but like I said, doing promos and you hear her um, doing interviews too. Um, she's got it. And now she's the knockouts, uh, world, a knockouts champion. And I thought she should have won a no surrender to be honest with you, but you get the storytelling now with Mickey James and Mickey James coming to save Chel- Chelsea green here at sacrifice. And, you know, maybe Mickey James is a little distracted, but, to be honest with you, um, kind of glad the belt's off Mickey James. Um, I think Tasha deserves it, and it's going to be interesting to see um, who might be the next challenge for – who's the first challenge for Tasha Steele. I bet, because there was some outside interference from Savannah Evans, I bet that we'll have another Tasha Steele-Mickey James match. I'm not sure if it's going to be at Rebellion. That's a ways away. So maybe we get it within the next couple of weeks and then we uh, build to a number one contender. Maybe it's a uh, Masha Slamovich. That's the number one contender. Tasha Stills versus <laughs> Masha Slamovich. That, that'd be a great match for rebellion. Um, next we had the good brothers first. And this was the shocker of the night for me. Um, influence did shock me a little bit, but, the Good Brothers versus Violent by Design. You know, with the Good Brothers, the way they've got got re-entered the Bullet Club a couple weeks back, that was at No Surrender. And now two weeks later, they're taking the L to Violent by Design and losing the belt. And there was the Russell, WrestleCon match, the multiverse uh, card, where the Good Brothers were going up again are facing the briscoes there and you figure it would be champion versus champion impact tag team champion good brothers versus ring of honor tag champs the briscoes and what happens the good brothers drop the belts of violent by design and it was a it was a, it was a decent match don't get me wrong 
but it's hard to understand why you would take the you take, you take the belts off the Good Brothers now, but you wouldn't take the belts off the Good Brothers a couple months ago, where maybe like a Rich Swan or Willie Mack were primed to be tag team champions. Um, confused, I, I, I a little stunning, surprising, however you want to call it, but. Um, so here's what's going to happen. I think, I think that now with the final by design being the tag team champions, I think Rich Swan and Willie Mack will be their first challengers. And then I think you're going to get, um, OGK Bennett and Taven. I think you're going to get them versus Motor City Machine Guns. I, I think that that's going to be a match that match. If that match is a rebellion match, that's that, that'd be great. I think maybe it'll happen on impact before rebellion, but I think that's where OGK is going. And then where does that leave the good brothers? Um, does that leave the good brothers uh, making some appearances in AEW? I'm not so sure. Um, are the good brothers going to Japan anytime soon to face God? I don't know. That's where God is right now. I don't think G- you're going to see God and good brothers in the impact wrestling ring within the next month. So um, we'll see. Um, apparently the bullet club has a, a segment for Thursday night's impact coming up. So we'll see where that goes. Um, and then you got the uh, impact championship match, Moose and Heath and um, Anthony Corelli, Santino Morella is uh, there for commentary. And um, yeah, I just question how, why why is he's getting a title match? Why he's been out? He comes up, he stands up against Moose, um, says that he's gonna stand up for impact. Moose hasn't, and uh there's your angle, quick angle, and um match was match was I mean Moose is elite. I mean, even when he, he even if he's banged up, shoulder or not, elite, and uh you know Heath Fans like he fans love like love Heath. So I mean, crowd was a little bit um into um Heath when he uh, was getting the upper hand, but Moose uh, gets the win, no jackhammer required, and um then you get the return of Josh Alexander, which was huge. I mean, I don't know if you were buying into the Josh Alexander, um, you know, is free agent and he's gonna be leaving Impact or you know the visa situation for him, but, um, wasn't, wasn't too, it wasn't too surprising that Josh Alexander would resign with impact. It would be, where would he come back? But is this a little too early? I don't think so because rebellion is a, what about rebellion is about a month, about five weeks away. And, um, let's see what it, you know, impact likes those long storytelling angles. So we'll see where this goes. I don't think you're going to get Josh Alexander and Moose in any kind of, um, even a tag team match or anything. You're not going to get them in the ring physically against each other until rebellion. They'll probably be a couple times. Like I'm assuming Josh Alexander is going to be in the ring this week. Um, talking about how he, he signed a multi-year deal I mean, you look at Josh Alexander and the way he's in the past talked about impact wrestling and um, he's, he's an Eddie Edwards or a Sammy Callahan guy. He's, he's impact wrestling through and through and uh, impact wrestling gave him his chance out three years ago. Uh, And uh, I think that, you know, the way story, the story angle went where he won the title and had it for a second and Musa cashed in and defeated him. Um, at Bound for Glory, I think that you know this Josh Alexander is going to beat Moose at Rebellion, likely. Um, and then will that give Moose some time to uh, take care of those, uh, take care of that injury that's bugging him? We'll see. But I mean, great to have Josh Alexander back. Um, takes out Moose, and um, you know, you, you wondered why Heath was in the main event. Why this was why Heath was in the main event. So. Um, uh, Josh Alexander can come back and uh, no doubt make his present fell presence fell and um, now collision course uh, for Josh uh, Moose and Josh Josh Alexander at Rebellion. 
Um, we'll see if that's the main event, but that's a good title uh, title match. That's the one people want to see uh, when Impact was throwing uh, detours at Josh Alexander, right? They want to see that sooner rather than later, but now we'll get it at a big pay-per-view. And, um, you know, we'll see what um, what that holds. I mean, Josh Alexander likely will get his, see if he can get his title back. Um, summing up, Sacrifice real quick. You know, solid card, solid card. The matches that you question why these matches were being put together had a little bit of uh, surprises or storylines, uh, future storyline implications in them. Steve Macklin in the Eddie Edwards Rhino match, and um, you know Josh Alexander coming back for um, you know coming back returning and uh, getting the match for a rebellion. Um, you know, not necessarily anything that was really that. If you're an impact wrestling fan, you probably like this. Most of the matches that were here, um, you probably were wanting a, a, a surprise for the Diana champ champ challenge. Um, you didn't get it, but it worked out for the storyline. And um, now we'll see what, you got new new uh, knockouts champion Tasha Steels. You got a new tag team champions knockouts tag team champions in the influence, and you got new tag team champions in Violent by Design. So, no surrender had no title changes. Sacrifice has three. Um, looking forward to seeing uh, Impact Wrestling on Thursday night and uh, the aftermath of Sacrifice. Uh, we'll see. Uh, they haven't announced any matches yet. They just announced pretty much that the Bullet Club will be speaking so uh we'll see what happens uh thanks a lot for um uh, for watching this uh review this sacrifice review check out the impact lounge um youtube channel for uh you know opinions reviews um bq's takes tw's takes and um this was great to be uh filling in thanks bq for having me and uh Hopefully I'll be back with some more impact takes and maybe some back and forth with those guys down the road. Have a good night.